why I believe Fortnite should do a DC season. Alright, now, we all know about the new Marvel season that's come out, alright? It's obviously, it's been massive, everyone's been loving it. But there's been, there's been no, Fortnite has had no love for DC for years. The last DC thing that came out, major, was in Season X with Gotham City coming and Batman coming and all that. They did do the Black Adam thing, which obviously didn't go well. But the reason I believe Fortnite should do another DC themed season is for this reason. Reason one, obviously, we've got the new James Gunn Cinematic Universe coming out. That Superman looks sick. Costume is comic accurate. So far from what we've seen in the leaked pictures, it looks like it's going to be great. And obviously James Gunn did God did Guardians of the Galaxies, which obviously that did really well. Everyone loved that because it was accurate and it wasn't just a slop. We're talking cinematic here because the re main reason why they do Club of Marvel is for the cinematic, but they don't just do the cinematic themed skins. Obviously, we've got we've got some comic accurate ones, and then we've got some some cinematic universe ones. So, if we look into the comic side of DC, there is the brand new Absolute Universe, which everyone is absolutely absolutely loving because it does look sick. Batman not not got money, and is just an engineer of Gotham with a sick ass costume. Superman, more of a vigilante than a, like a true hero, and Wonder Woman being brought up in hell. Don't know a lot about the rest of them so far. We've seen some pictures of, of obviously Wally West as the Flash, but that everyone's loving that at the minute. At the minute, people are loving DC, and the only reason why people are loving Marvel at the minute, to be quite frank, is because of the Deadpool and Wolverine film. Without that, people would still be hating on Marvel. But let but let's go to the concept of what a DC themed season would be like. So the battle pass, I feel like start the battle pass off with some strong strong characters that they've not had yet. I feel like Robin or Nightwing, one of the two, you know, because obviously Boy Wonder, you know, he's the sidekick. He's always the second one, and they normally have quite low end people at the beginning of the battle pass. So I feel like Nightwing slash Robin, or, or, or Nightwing Robin, or like an interchangeable one, I don't know, I don't know. Again, for a pickaxe, if it's Nightwing, you'd have his two little sticks he's got, which I think would be pretty cool, to be fair. But then if it's for Robin, give him a staff. Well, depending on which Robin it is, they've got a staff. I feel like the 100 skin should be, like, the Flash. Because we've got, we have already got the Flash, but it's the CW's Flash. And the CW's Flash wasn't that bad, but I feel like we need a more, better Flash costume. Obviously, I feel like in the middle of the battle pass, there should be like some collab type skin to like a Peely Batman would be, be pretty sick, and a I don't know like a like a like a Jonesy, a Jonesy Constantine or something like some 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 something, something good that people would like. Some bat blings in the battle pass. I feel like Constantine's lighter. Talking about him would be something pretty good that people would like. I feel like a, a vial of venom that Bane uses would be a pretty cool one. I feel like maybe you could have Bane in it, but he could be a bit too big. And obviously, you don't want it to be sh just themed around Batman because it's DC themed. So you've got to have some some little characters in there that are unknown. The story, on the other hand, I'm not too sure how the story would go, but I feel like it could be something similar to what we've got going on now. In the DC animated universe that we've got at the minute, they just had the Crisis in Infinite Earths. I think that's just finished wrapping up. Kevin Conroy came back as. As, as one final line as Batman. And if it has to end, at least I go out like this, being Batman. Amazing. Rest in peace, Kevin Conroy, the GOAT. And I feel like that, obviously, bringing in other universes. You know, Fortnite is, a, is another universe. It could be something like that. Another Crisis on Earth thing. And they have to come to the Fortnite island because the Fortnite island has a solution. I'm not too sure, but I feel like something like that. Because DC loves doing crises, they just love it, so... Crisis on the Fortnite Island, something, 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 something like that, and I'm not too sure. For the item shops, other skins, I feel like there should be either a, a, a different style for Batman, which is his Insane Asylum Batman, where he has the head of the Joker as a Batbling. Either have it a separate skin, or have it as an edit style, either or, I feel like that would be a great thing to add. I feel like they do need to add some, some lanterns into the item shop though. Maybe not Hal Jordan, per se. We don't have all the Justice League just yet. You've got to save that for another season. You know, can't put them all in one season. If they do, if they do season two, then they've got to add, they've got to have some other Green Lanterns into the mix. As far as weapons go, obviously Batarang. I think a Batarang should be a Mythic. I feel like Batarang should be a common item. For Mythics, obviously Grapple Blade. I feel like Grapple Blade. It has, has to be one. Batman Grapple Blade. An Amazonian Sword for Wonder Woman. Again, it's just calling you. It's just calling you, innit? 
and there should also be the kryptonite that gives a human a kryptonian powers that has to be one so you can become like superman obviously maybe not fly but you can like float like you could with, with the magneto gloves type thing but that's something good with the laser vision and all that but then there should be a counter weapon to that called the kryptonite gun which does more damage on people with white kryptonite i believe it is but there should be a counter weapon to that to make it not so overpowered and then obviously a speed force one which makes you run it makes you running 25 percent faster and then the green lantern ring as well which obviously will either shoot a beam out or shoots out random objects and for map changes i feel like wayne manor with the bat cave underneath perfect i have a lot of, have a lot of loot in there a lot of batarang to get around maybe titan's tower maybe not it's i feel like that's too much of batman centered things i feel like maybe not i feel like the daily planet has to, has to be one because they did the daily bugle when spider-man came in daily planet again has to be one and you could have a little you could have good clark kent's desk when you go to clark's desk you can find a bit of the um bit of the kryptonite which makes give you the, the kryptonian powers as a little as a little easter egg type thing star labs again i feel it's like another good one all these locations obviously have the weapon or the mythic of said person and I feel like a massive green lantern just somewhere on the map, in like a crater or something, like it's crashed down on the map, boom! And on the top, there's like some chests which have green lanterns in them, which have uh, green lantern rings in them. I feel like for a live event, if, it, if they're going, if they're going to go for the crisis one, have another planet slowly coming in. So you can see another planet coming slowly, like the, throughout the whole season, you see a planet slowly coming in. And then for the li for the, for the live event, I feel like it's gotta be Constantine. It's gotta be Constantine because he was for the Crash of Infinite Earth that they've just wrapped up. He was all about that. It was like all not not all around Constantine, but he was a big part of it. He was, he was a big part. Of it. I feel like Constantine and Flash, the two people that are like the most important on the Crisis, Crisis of any Earth, are those two because those two put together they could they could solve some good shit. I don't know. Maybe have the Flash like run around the island or something, and then. Constantine infuses him with some sort of powers and then he blasts the planet away and then they all get taken away. I don't I don't I'm not I'm not too sure, but I feel like something to do with a planet coming in slowly but surely throughout the whole season and having the Flash and Constantine work together to stop it. That's why I feel like Fortnite need to do a DC season. For the love that DC's getting right now, and it'll bring more people to DC again, because I know a lot of people have left DC after what Zack Snyder did to the fucking cinematic verse because that was, dis that was disgraceful, disgusting, hated it. So a lot of people moved to Marvel so doing this could make people come back to DC. I and mean, you know, they could do another comic run. That comic run did great, people loved it. But yeah, that's, yeah, bye.